What's going on guys, it's your boy Adoptionism here, bringing you guys a video, I understand that some people might get mad that I don't have a gameplay in the background, but, uh, anyway, that's beside the point. I wanted to, uh, do this video, I wanted to wait a couple days just to see if, uh, if any more news of what we get out of the, uh, Crota Raid on Hard that's coming out this, I believe, yeah, I think it's this Tuesday or Wednesday, but they're doing, like, this death race thing to where they're gonna have everybody start, like, if you wanna be, like, world's fastest or world's first or some shit, I don't know, uh, Wednesday, January 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is, uh, what, um, 12 p.m. Uh, Central, that's 1 p.m. Uh, East Coast, and that's 6 p.m. Uh, uh, European or UK or whatever you want to call it, uh, but, yeah, all, it's just to see who all can, I uh, I'll beat it the fastest or something. <coughs> I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's beside the point. This video, you guys will see here, I'll put up the pictures as uh, um, part of the forum posts. Because I know, again, a lot of you guys don't follow the forums or have the app on your phone. So um, that way I could let you guys know what's going on. So you guys also know that we had this big update a uh, couple days or this past week. And it was to fix all the cheesing during Crota. For those of you who are new who haven't gotten to kill Crota yet, uh, there was a cheese where you can lock Crota down on his knee to where you could just continuously beat him down for like 10 seconds and then he's dead. Uh, or th how you can get rid of certain thing, like certain, uh, not buffs, but shit that was like counterproductive against you if you just wiped and then you used a Warlock's revive ability right when the counter hits one. Uh, they fixed like the Ogre Bridge now to where you had, instead of just soloing the whole thing, well, I mean, you could still solo it, but it's a little more difficult. You have to actually kill the sword bearer on the initial side. Then you have to take the sword all the way across. And then you have to stay alive. Because as soon as the ogres come out, if you're on the other side and you're taking everything out and the ogres come out, the two pist or the two pylon things on the other side uh, end up killing you. So, yeah, they, they fixed that in a sense. Uh, it's more difficult to do it solo. Still pretty fucking easy with, like, two or three people. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so beside the point, let's go ahead and get into this, uh, so obviously with the hard raid coming out, or the hard mode coming out, they're actually doing this now, I don't know if, uh, because, like, of the release of hard mode, if this grants, uh, uh, what, like, both difficulties, like, if it unlocks primary weapon, uh, whatever, for both difficulties, or if it's only hard mode, uh, that would kind of suck for a lot of people if it's only hard mode, but it would also be more cool because I feel like it would make them more unique. And, um, yeah, so you guys will see here, uh, the first thing I got up right now is the Abyss Defiant, which is a uh, solar auto rifle, which is really cool. I mean, it's got almost max rate of fire. It's got about eh, f maybe 45, 50% stability. Uh, decent range and decent impact for an auto rifle. It's got a 30 ro 31 round magazine. And, uh, sadly, there's not really any other screenshots or anything of what all the perks do, because I know there's, there, there's a couple little symbols in here that don't look familiar, but, um, but yeah, so, first ever solo, or solar, not solo, solar auto rifle, uh, is gonna be out for the raid, and what's also weird is that, after we talk more about all these guns, is that if you include the Necrochasm, there are three, three arc, one solar, and one void, which is kind of an odd balance, but then again, there's two solar, two vo or yeah, two solar, one v or one void and <coughs> one arc. I think I don't know. I don't have the fusion rifle yet currently, but um, all right, yeah. So anyway, so the next one we got is the Fang of Urgute, which uh, Urgute or Urgute or whatever is the Death Singer, which is the one that you fight right before you kill Crota. And this is a arc scout rifle. It's really cool. I mean, it's got a uh, decent rate of fire. It, the the meter on the rate of fire looks because I've had other ones like that, and it looks like you can pretty much like finger like trigger finger pretty decently. So that that'll probably do some nice damage uh, even in PvP. And then it looks like it's got uh, high caliber rounds. Yeah, high caliber rounds, stability, ammo upgrade, and then it's got the uh, radar. Uh, stays active when you're aiming down sights perks, so I mean, I guess that's pretty cool, but it, uh, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't make that too unique of an uh, of a scout rifle, but if you look right next to the uh, the red dot perk that's already highlighted, 
the tree right next to it or the branch right next to it actually I, I can't tell what that first one is but yeah it's still gonna be nice to see what this uh, arc scout rifle can do uh, and then so next we have the oversoul uh, edict which or edict whatever it's a pulse an arc pulse rifle just like prey to the timepiece uh, which really wasn't that great but uh it's got decent stability, uh, pretty decent fire rate. It's actually got, I think it looks like it's got a little more impact than most pulse, pulse rifles that I've seen. Um, but then again, nobody ever uses pulse rifles in PvP or anything like that. The range is pretty decent, and uh, it looks like the very first perk you can unlock is the uh, full auto, which you just hold it down and just keeps, it'll do like the burst and then like the burst constantly without having to individually pull the trigger, so that's really cool. And then it looks like it's got another kind of like hive uh right before you get to the the hive breaker or whatever the one right before that there's a there's one that looks pretty interesting but yeah so anyway so on to the next and uh somewhat last second to last one my favorite which i know a lot of people are looking forward to this is the word of crota hand cannon it's a void hand cannon and it just oh my god it looks so beautiful and it just Oh, it, it looks badass. If you stare at the back part of it, it looks like a magnum, but then towards the front, it looks like it has, like, bone and shit on it, and it looks really cool. Uh, it looks like the first perk you unlock for it is the uh, half glass, or no, not half glass full. Um, I think, uh, what is it? Precision kills with this weapon, like, increase something, I can't remember, but it also, I can already see at the bottom of the third tree, it's got explosive rounds, which are probably one of my favorite perks in a hand can or especially with fate bringer having explosive rounds it was it's just it's cool i love it i love explosive rounds i think they're awesome they're really cool and they help out for when if you're soloing and there's big hordes of things you just do that and the explosion knocks back the other ones so it's pretty cool but um yeah so last but not least here we have the necrochasm which is uh the arc auto rifle exotic which uh, has max fire rate, damn near no impact, hardly any range, almost max stability already. Um, but actually, looking at how they already have this perk set up, it looks like they actually got those, uh, got the uh, stability uh, upgraded. Because the middle tree all the way at the bottom, I believe that's fitted stock. So, yeah, he's that, yeah. And then. Uh, the one right next to that that looks like a dartboard is the uh, aiming this weapon uh, increases its range and uh, I don't fucking know I don't really care I I don't really like those perks I'm interesting I'm interested to know what that first perk is though right after uh, the uh, the first uh, branch so that first little perk looks interesting but yeah and of course the only way you can get this is when you beat Crota on hard mode you get the crux of Crota, which is the uh, piece that you use to upgrade the uh, Eidolon ally, which is uh, the legendary version of the Husk of the Pit. So then that way you'll finally have Necrochasm, and ah, what do you know? But uh, honestly, in my opinion, when it comes to that, I would say you want at least just two. I think somebody said that you can only have a max of three. I don't know if you could go past that, but uh, I'm for me personally, that way I can switch around if I do start to like it more. I want to keep a maxed out Eidolon ally, and I want to have a Necrochasm. That way, because obviously one's legendary, one's exotic, I'll be, I can switch them out or whatever, and uh, that way I can have a different exotic equipped somewhere else. But yeah, so that's enough about weapons. Uh, again, I still I can't wait for the Word of Crota hand cannon. I just I love hand cannons. <laughs> but, um, alright, so uh, the last two things here, we got the ship. Which uh, which sucks because I was really hoping that they were gonna have uh, uh, a sparrow, which is weird that they don't. They might because they said that there's a lot of also there's a lot of things that they're gonna be adding into the hard mode that are gonna surprise people. So I wouldn't be surprised if they just told us all this shit and then there's still like a couple more little things that we could possibly get. I don't know. I think it'd be badass to have a cool sparrow with like bones and stuff on it, and, like a green tail. I think it'd be really cool. But um yeah, so this ship that you get is called the Bane of or Bane of the Dark Gods, which if you look at it again, it looks like all these raid ships are always looking like the aspect of glass or the glass minute or minute minute whatever I don't fucking know. Um, but this one, the ba uh, Bane of the Dark Gods, looks a lot different than Light in the Abyss because it looks like it has more of a spiny bone thing like down the middle of the ship, which is, is a little cool. I'll give it that, but uh. I really hope it has like more like green glow to it or something that makes it stand out, which is really cool. 
And then, uh, last but not least, right, uh, right underneath you guys will see, uh, shaders. There's this thing called the Gloho shader, or Glowho shader, which, um, there's only one person that, uh, I've seen that has, uh, this shader, or I don't know if it's photoshopped or what, but, um, I know he's already, he's got, like, 25,000 subs, but, uh, yeah, um, so you guys can see, it looks like turquoise almost, or like it looks like it highlights like the end of each appendage uh, in turquoise, which is pretty pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I, I think it's pretty cool if that is legit, because definitely if you get that shader and you're rocking around and people are like, whoa, what is that? After people pick up, like, holy shit, that's the shader for beating it on hard mode. They're gonna be like, damn, dude, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, this is pretty much been it uh everything after this point is just talking about um the january 20th tuesday the there will be an update obviously pre uh, prepping for the dlc and then of course um they're going to do that manual start for hard mode uh on 10 a.m pacific standard time so again i mean that that's literally all that's really important for anybody to know but, yeah, guys, uh, I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I really hope a lot of this information uh, gets you excited and gets you pumped for the next couple days because I know I'm going to be really pumped. I mean, we only got, from well, for me right now, two and a half days, or no, I guess we could say three days, and uh, we're going to have that. And then, actually, shortly after that, uh, Dying Light comes out, which is going to be really cool because uh, it's like a free roam. Uh, I feel like it's uh, Daisy meets Walking Dead meets Left 4 Dead meets Dead Island. It just, it actually looks really cool, and I've never been into stuff like that. But anyway, that's that. Um, but yeah, guys, again, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description, because I have, I'm going to be having the forum link, and also uh, the guy who I just showed the shader, who the shader that he has, uh, I'll have his channel in the description as well, because again, if you just type in Google, like, Destiny Glow Who Shader, that is the only image that comes up. So props to him if it is legit. And if it's photoshopped, I, it still looks pretty cool. But, yeah, guys. Again, please, this has been your boy, Adopt. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. The link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to, get, don't forget to check out... God, I'm tripping my, over my own tongue. Uh, don't forget to check out all of Jay's, stream, or Jay's links. All of his stuff is down in the description as well. And again, guys, uh, probably tomorrow. Because I'm probably going to do it tonight. But that way I can uh, let this video uh, kind of, like ferment and let all you guys see it uh i'll probably uh, do the top five tonight but i'll upload it tomorrow so that way you guys can check that out but yeah guys again thanks for watching it's been your boy adopt peace out